hello guys hello everybody now welcome back to this platform i greet as a lot all of now where well. my people you get this video when i want me to watch i beg pray for peter obi very 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 important i beg i beg on make on begin the pray for peter obi as you lay down night and day morning afternoon they pray for yourself and for your family I beg, put Peter B for your prayer. This man of God, when I want me to watch right now, this man of God, when I want me to watch now, not be man of God with a carry talk. Now, man of God will be if he talk, he talk. He can go and watch his past video and see what this man already talked before. You go no say, he no waiting the talk. Now, number one, this video, where you want to so there's another video inside. I want me to listen to each of everything about this video. And I beg, if you finish watching this video, help me share them. To all obedient family, very important. Share them to all obedient family. Me therefore see them. And me therefore still share and give those ones where you not share and give. There is love in sharing. Save life. Pray for Peter Obi. And I beg, another thing that I want to beg you. And I beg, I beg. If you know say so you didn't new to this platform, you never subscribe. Maybe they watched the video before, or you just they pass by. You happen to meet this video. I beg, just take one second, just press that button when you say subscribe. Check it now. Your work is done, and I go thank you. Well, we appreciate them. Just do only that thing for me by pressing the smash button. Don't forget to like the video as well. Leave your comment for the comment station. What do you think about this video? So when I just post today, when I beg, when I say me, when I pray for Peter Obi, I get reason no. When I say me could not poop it out before I pray, I reason they will. the reason eh, not be this video we won't watch. I beg as I talk about before, share the video, leave your comments, like my video, comments. I go see you now again for my next video. Thank you guys. I appreciate all of now. One love, guys. Bye bye. Pray for the name that is Peter Obi is now popular everywhere, but pray for him. If you trust in the voice of men, it will still not happen. Nothing will happen. Because I've designed his spirit. God brought him to me in the night. And I see so much, so much confidence in men rather than confidence in God. So when the Lord designed, when, when I designed him, I, I found myself stop a car at the bus stop. See, this is how these things work. Some of you don't understand. Let me be giving you some of the process. I was standing at the bus stop and I stopped a car and he was the driver. And I entered the back at the driver's and the owner's seat. And there was another man at the back. And there was a lady in front with bandage on her leg. And we were driving on Lekki Road, coming from this tower, what they call the tower? Civic Tower. And then we were arguing about two things. He was telling me about the importance of voting. Ensure you vote. I said, yes, all Christians, everybody must vote. I said, but you must pray. And that was the argument we were having in the car. And then he stopped me under the bridge. Now coming from Civic Tower. Huh? Huh? That's what they call the road. He stopped me under the bridge and made a U-turn. Huh? Made a U-turn. And then, let me leave the remaining part. So, what is this? So, why will I be in a car and this man is driving and he's laying in front with a leg that is bandaged, raised up like this. And there's a man at the back and I'm talking when we're all discussing. And they dropped me there, and then I find myself, opposite me was a theater, and there was about to be a prayer for Nigeria going on there. And then ahead of me was an invitation to speak somewhere. Let me leave that part. Pray for the man. Pray. Pray. Go ahead and pray. This is internal problem. Did you hear what I said? Internal problem. What? So you are looking at a situation where people that should be in the, on the same side start dividing themselves. This is internal problem. Pray for the party. I think it's called labor, right? Pray for the party. Pray for the Easterners. When all this is we unfold, you remember I told you. 
but we have to pray prayer can change everything but things may not flow the way people are thinking but if there is prayer if there's dependency on god god has promised us what he will work see i work with a god that is not a talkative he's a master Do you understand so jesus does not know the day he's coming again jesus said i'm coming again right does he know the dates do you know the dates even the jesus the son of god does not know the dates he said the day and the hour know it no man including the son of man the father has kept that in his power for you to understand how god is the problem we don't know god imagine god can keep a secret and not tell his son the one he said this is my beloved son that sits at his right hand does not know the dates there are some things he keeps like that when he keeps it don't go and be talking what he has not talked he has not told me this is what it will be he has kept that as long as he wants to keep it he's do you understand how powerful when you deal with god oh god you understand what i'm saying he he, he can he doesn't say hey, 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 no 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 he does imagine a being that has no fear no contest that is all powerful that made all things all things started from him nothing existed before him imagine how he thinks and how he operates so people think god must do like this tell me what must happen who is god saying if god is quiet you be quiet the bible says that ezekiel he said i've not prophet, i've not spoken yet the prophet have ran they ran jeremiah sorry i have not spoken yet they prophesied so you say only what he has said you keep quiet about what he has not said i have not spoken look at that look at it read everybody read so you don't prophesy when god has not spoken you don't speak based on pressure you don't speak newspaper popular opinion you don't speak what is going on online you don't copy information to prophesy you hear from god that's what is called the integrity of a prophet people tell me prophesy i say i don't see anything please tell me what god is saying i did not hear what do you want me to do should i keep myself should i forge prophecy for you no only what i hear i speak as i hear i speak that's what jesus said as i hear i speak i only prophesy what i have heard so so far this is where we are this is a very delicate journey we must keep backing it up with what prayer and dependency on god lest we fail again the honor of god will not fail in the when a true prophet of god speaks it surely comes to pass deuteronomy 18 22. I was laying on my bed, I saw a race, and I saw people running, and I saw one person overtaking them. As I saw that person overtaking them, I saw written Soludo. I said, what is this? The Lord says, his will for Anambra is Soludo. But right now, if you go online, check everything, I went to check, Soludo is disqualified. If he will depend on God and pursue, he's the one to overtake. Jukuma Soludo of APGA having satisfied the requirements of the law is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected i'm looking at the state election and this man is going to be fought from everywhere they'll fight him from the north south east west it's going to be tough for him because he has chosen to do the right thing but god is telling me he will win again professor professor god will help ambassador of PDP is hereby declared the winner and return elected. The visions of God appeared to me some days ago. I saw somebody landed in Abuja airport and I saw family members around this person and I heard them celebrating. We have defeated the incubant and I saw a word written over them Ogu. I was looking at this announcement. I saw in some states they were rerunning some states and redoing some elections. Six states or seven states, but I saw two states being announced, and I saw something that will shock everybody because I saw these states being given to PDP. Adamawa APC incumbent lost to PDP. Valtry APC incumbent lost to PDP. Now the Lord is speaking once again through His prophet about the future of Nigeria and what we must do to make this a reality. In the visions of God, 
the Lord took me to 2023, I saw lightning strike on the nation. I saw celebrations and celebrations. I saw Nigeria whites and I saw everyone celebrating. Finally, we have in the presidency a good person. And I got up from the vision. I was thanking the Lord. And the Lord said, not without a seven-day fast. Call the nation to a seven-day fast called the June 12th fast from June the 13th to June, Sunday the 19th. On the 19th, we all gather here in the evening to pray and to fast. Now, don't wait the election. We have to walk ahead. Not what we used to do. One week to election, everybody start fasting and praying. No. The Lord says, call the nation to a fast. As a prophet, God says, speak to the nation to come to a fast for seven days. We want one million people to sign a petition to the courts of heaven. So we're writing a petition, why Nigeria must change the confidence of our fathers and why we are calling on the Lord. One million people to sign online on that petition. So we, we need to walk to spread the word. And then we will meet for seven days. We will live broadcast on one sound. And we'll pray for the nation ahead of 2023. I have told you, if the nation will listen and comply, it will be the beginning of our celebration.